Just beer? That's not bad. You can tell, I always like to see what people are drinking because I think it kind of tells what kind of night they're going to have. Like, you see someone drinking whiskey straight, tequila straight, don't you think, oh my God, that person's in for a messed up night. <laughs> huh? They're down for anything. You see someone drinking like cranberry juice, don't you think, oh my God, that person was down for anything last night. <laughs> Tonight they're fighting a urinary tract infection. <laughs> You see a chick drinking water, stay away. She is on antibiotics. <laughs> she is not the designated driver. <laughs> Never got an applause break on STDs. Uh, I'm a drinker myself, Red Bull and vodka. That's my drink of choice. Yeah, you went, you went, oh yeah, that's the right response, right? It makes you do stupid shit, doesn't it? It's not natural, that's the problem. Like beer, liquor, those things are natural, right? You guys get drunk tonight, you're gonna say stupid things. You're gonna do stupid things, but beer and liquor's got your back, cause you pass out. Not on Red Bull and Vodka. Uh-uh, Red Bull and Vodka, you become a productive asshole. You're hanging out and all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, I got so much energy. There's so many people to express my true feelings to. Good thing I got a cell phone. Cell phones are the devil, especially because they got cameras on them. Why does everything have to have a camera on them? It's just, it's just a bad idea to have a camera when you're out on like a Saturday night. Like there's moments I don't want to remember. Like I don't know what happens with girls. I'll tell you what happens with guys. Group of dudes, same plan every night. Gonna get drunk, meet some pretty girls, have a great night. That never happens. <laughs> what does happen is I wake up the next day like, hey guys, quick question. Who used my cell phone to take a picture of their balls? Girls don't have that problem. <laughs> huh? uh, you've never woken up and been like, ew. <laughs> Is that Becky's beef? <laughs> I'm unmarried. It's very hard to meet nice people in New York. Uh, and I constantly get advice from people about, you know, because I'm unmarried, how to find the right person. Uh, the worst people to get advice from is your grandparents. Uh, senior citizens, they just, they're just out of touch. Like my grandmother, she's always like, if you want to meet the right person, the one you're gonna marry, you should meet him on the bus. She's 97, she hasn't been on the bus in a while. She says that because that's where she met my grandfather, on the bus. He was the bus driver. And if you ask, I'm serious, if you ask my grandmother, she'll look you in the face and go, well, I wanted to ride the bus for free, so I married him. Well, that's adorable until you think about it. Oh my God, Grandma was the first easy pass. <laughs> but uh, you know, uh, New York's a fun place. Like I said, very hard to meet nice people in New York. When I first moved to New York City uh, to find a nice girl, what I did is uh, I thought I'd go on a blind date. I had a friend hook me up. If you ever want to know what your friends think of you, <laughs> ask them to set you up with someone. <laughs> I met this girl at the restaurant at 4.30 in the afternoon, 4.30. I got there, she was there and already drunk. <laughs> Wasted, right? And I know what you're thinking, sir. Easy kill, but it wasn't. She's like a crazy, paranoid, delusional drunk. You know, she'd accuse me of things. She'd come back from the bathroom. She'd be like, Ryan, my drink tastes funny. Did you put something in this? It's like, no, you're drinking the candle, you mush. So I moved in with that girl. Because let's face it, fellas, if she's willing to swallow hot candle wax. <laughs> like 12 years old or something. <laughs> that just means she's a good cook is what I'm trying to say. It's a true story. That's how I met my girlfriend that I am living with. Uh, I think it's a good thing uh, to live with your boyfriend or your girlfriend before you get married. That's my advice to everyone. Do that first, right? Because you learn a lot about yourself. Like I've learned I'm an asshole. I didn't know that, she told me that. See, here's the thing, ladies, you're very neat, you're very pretty, you're very organized, right? Men aren't, I'm not, she hates me for it. She's like, you should be ashamed of the way you live. What happens if one of your friends comes over and sees this pigsty? Wouldn't you be embarrassed by this mess? I've had a friend drop by my house unexpectedly once in my entire life, and that's because he had to take a shit and he couldn't make it to his own house. <laughs> He didn't say anything as he ran past me to the bathroom. 
It would have been weird if he was like, where's your bathroom? Are those your socks on the living room floor? I can't shit here. I'm going to a gas station. Like, I think women get away with everything in our society. Ah, it's true, right? Great example. <laughs> Look at his cover in his mouth. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm a pussy. I can't say it all out. It's true, women, whatever you want, no one ever questions any action a woman does, right? Great example, you ladies are always kissing each other nowadays, no one cares. No one says anything, it's so acceptable, no one gives a shit. You always have the same excuse, too. You're always like, oh my God, I went out last night and I had like three wine coolers and I totally kissed my best friend, Jen. It was so weird. I'm never gonna be able to say that. I'm never gonna call my friend and be like, dude, Last night I went out, I had like three Zimas. Next thing I know, I'm tonguing James's balls. <laughs> yes, I'm sure there's a picture on my cell phone. <laughs> Ryan Reese, guys, thank you for your time. <laughs> Ryan Reese, give him a hand. Ryan